What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today, real quick, I wanna show with you guys one of the eBay budget bill I have right here. Now these couple parts, not from eBay, but the main parts like motherboard, CPU, cooler, the RAM, all this from eBay. Even the uh, adapter cable for the power supply. Now, let's jump in and you know, show with you guys the specs. Now I did, post all these specs on the YouTube community section. I see some of you guys did like, you did give the thumbs up, and you guys wanted to see this build. So today, basically I just wanna give you guys my quick thoughts on how the system is running, what I'm planning on doing, and on the part two, you guys will see the full build with benchmark and everything. All right, so I have here a couple parts from HP Z4, 40 PC. Now, I didn't buy the HP Z440 because I didn't like this uh, case design and I really don't like uh, using OEM case. So what I basically did, I bought a OEM HP Z440 motherboard for $39 because OEM parts are always good. And even though if this motherboard does go bad, I can buy another one for $39. All right. By the way, that's an X99 motherboard, so, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know the exact, is it C12, whatever, the chipset, but it's, you can use a X99 motherboard, okay, LGA 2011 B3 socket. Now, the CPU I got, like, I really wanted this CPU for a long time. No, it's not an expensive CPU. Um, like, a couple of years back, Linus made a benchmark video about uh, Xeon, uh, E5 2699B3 CPU and, and at that time he, that CPU was like the fastest CPU like you know like 18 core and then uh, 36 threads like insane insane right now back then the CPU price was like four thousand dollars and I remember watching this video I'm like damn I wish I had the CPU right so I've always wanted that CPU now recently I bought the CPU for only forty dollars and that's that's crazy you know that's like a four thousand dollar cpu right now forty dollars and that's crazy right but the cpu still performed really well i did run a couple of benchmark like geekbench and this uh cinebench it was performing really well so i got the cpu and the cooler i didn't want it to spend extra money on an aftermarket cooler so I went with a uh, OEM HP Z440 CPU cooler. Now, the RAM, you need ECC RAMs for these motherboard, okay? So you do need uh, the, you know, like um, DDR4 uh, ECC, these are uh, 2400T, so 2400 megahertz. Uh, these are, I, I believe they're register um, memories. So I got 32 gigs, uh, these are eight gig each. I paid around like $45 or tax, including tax and stuff, it was like $50. Now, order for you to use a regular power supply with this motherboard, you do need uh, these uh, cables right here. Basically goes from 18 to 24, so you can use a um, regular power supply. It goes from like 24 to 18, so you can use a regular power supply. All right, the graphics card you guys see here, I bought this graphics card a couple of months back. Uh, GTX 1070 from NVIDIA, it's still a great card. Uh, you know, it's an eight gig card. I bought this card for like $100 and this card performing really well. Now, currently I'm testing with a 128 gig uh, NVMe drive. Uh, I don't really care about this drive because I'm just testing right now. I only have one game installed, uh, Fortnite. Now, I have another uh, SSD. You know, I'll use this SSD when I, you know, uh, make the part two video so I can uh, install a couple other games. So I have a PNY 500 uh, gig SSD right here. So I'm thinking about using the SSD or one terabyte SSD. Okay, for the build, I'll use a case from Gamdias uh, for the build. And uh, the power supply I have, uh, one of the review sample, you guys can use like, 
you know, any power supply, like, you know, like 80 plus bronze, gold. Uh, I have the Be Quiet, uh, Pure Power 11, that's the 80 plus gold, power supply 600 watt. So basically all these parts you see here, I had to test because I got all these parts from eBay and I needed to test as soon as possible. Like I, I would love to show you guys the CPU right now, but the problem is <laughs> I don't have any more thermal paste. I did order some thermal paste. If I remove this cooler right now, I don't have thermal paste to apply again and I don't want to use the same old thermal paste. That's not good. All right, let's jump in and let me show you guys how like Fortnite is performing, but stay tuned. I'll run a bunch of games with this setup. Now, my end game plan with this setup right here, um, either I will turn this setup to a like a dedicated workstation for video editing or live streaming or what I'm planning on doing, I do need a home server. So I may install Proxmox and, you know, inst you know, run a couple VMs, uh, you know, this 18 core 36 thread CPU is meant for, you know, heavy load and it came from a server. So maybe after I'm done with all this gaming stuff and benchmark, maybe I'll just use this build for a dedicated, uh, like a, you know, virtual server so I can run some VM and stuff. So guys, let's jump in. Let me show you guys how Fortnite is performing. And after that, uh, you know, I give you guys my thoughts. And now stay tuned for the part two because I'll take all these parts and I'll throw in one of my uh, case and make this build look, you know, kind of nice. Let's go. All right, so let's look at the settings real quick. Uh, let me just jump into settings. Okay, so we are running, what is it? Well, I'm running 720p. Okay, so we are running 1920 by 1080 full screen. Um, I got FPS set to unlimited, obviously. Uh, basically, we are, you know, running high settings. Okay, as you guys can see right here. Okay, and tier listing set to TAA, and 3D resolution is 100%. View distance far. All right, so let's just save it. Apply. Hopefully it doesn't crash. <clears throat> All right, so we did save the settings. Uh, let's just jump and stop playing. All right, you guys can see mm, FPS is like kind of all over 70, 80. Um, hey, hey, hey. Kinda like Fortnite, but I'll, I'll test other games like uh, Apex Legend um, after I finish like the build. Cause currently I'm I'm just basically testing. You know, I, I just want to show you guys like how uh, you know the system is performing. So keep in mind we got a 18 core 36 uh, thread CPU. Okay, I'm sorry I'm not using the afterburner. I don't want to die again. So let me guess. All right, so I got the All right, he thought he can kill me right now, didn't you? There's some somebody else around here Right, so the FPS is <laughs> currently at right 50, 60, 60 something. Okay, now stay tuned for the part two. I will have afterburner and everything set up. Uh, currently, like I just finished like setting everything up today, so like, like I'm, I'm, I'm still. 
I'm still basically messing with the system, you know. I have to install like everything. I didn't do anything yet. Hey, where you at, sweetheart? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, no. Alright, let's go. Got you. Yeah, because there's somebody following me. I have to run. So the average FT FPS we are getting like around 60 something, so which is not bad. All right, so let's just wait here because my health is not all that great. There we go. Let's just heal myself ASAP. ASAP. All right. By the way, the camera I'm currently recording with uh, Sony A6700, and I just got this camera today. Oh shit! I see somebody here. Got you. Shit, I'm good. You know what? Let me go to device manager and let's go to processor. And here we go. We have a 36, 36 threads, guys. 36 processing the cores and thread all together right here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. Um, let me just run Cinevent real quick so you guys can see. Cineventure R23 and it was kind of crazy like I was testing Cineventure R24 and this processor was faster than uh, Apple M1 Max that was kind of crazy all right um, start I'm not sure. I think it's around like 12,000 or 13,000 somewhere there. And it's below the um, the third report 1950X. Let's see. Okay, so I was right. So it did like uh, 13,348. It's pretty fast. It's right below the uh, MD Ryzen Threadripper uh, 1950X. That's a 16 core 32 thread, which is not bad. All right, guys, so stay tuned for the part two. Uh, like I was showing you guys, um, I only had one game, I mean, you know, install uh, Fortnite. So you guys can see, you know, how well, um, you know, Fortnite was performing, not all that crazy. Cause I have all the graphics card here too. And this CPU is actually not meant for gaming. I'll just showing you guys anyway. Other uh, cinnamon you guys seen, you know, it's right below the uh, uh, Threadripper uh, 1950X, which is not bad. 
uh, you know that's like a 40 dollar cpu you know xeon e5 uh, 26 uh, 99 v3 which is crazy stay tuned part two i will build this uh you know with all these parts i'll build a gaming slash workstation pc and you know i'll share with you guys a couple more benchmark uh, gaming and also you know the workstation base you know editing and stuff so that should be it see you guys next time peace <music>